guy that I have to ask you about. And he was one of the most underrated heavyweights that you fought. And he never really made big money. He was always an opponent. But to me, he was a beast. Burt Cooper. Oh, Burt Cooper. Me and How him, tough we, was Burt? It was we, when we fought, I forget what year it was, but it was fight of the year. And we were both in the emergency room getting <laughs> stitched up. He was over here and I was over here. We beat the shit out of each other. I had uh, he busted a blood vessel in my jaw. Damn. And it was like this. And then the first round, he cut me in my lip. I had to get 18 stitches in that. Damn. I had to fight 12 rounds with that. That cut in my lip. I mean, did Everybody anybody stop Burt Cooper? Yeah, yeah. Um, later, Holyfield, yeah. Holyfield stopped. Holyfield. Oh, that's right. It was like ninth round. But he stopped, almost right. stopped Holyfield though. He right. Almost stopped Holyfield. That's when I really noticed who he was. He was my sparring partner. That's what made the fight so tough. You know, when yeah. you're, you're fighting. Oh, he you're, was. Yeah, he, for for years he was my sparring partner. He knew everything about me. Shit, that's, that's a general him. rule that I have: never fight a sparring partner. Never, yeah. never, man. I wouldn't recommend it. Well, no. Nowadays, you fight a sparring partner; it's a sparring session, right in front yeah. of you. Know, so but he was tough, huh? Bert Cooper was tough, man. He's the tough guy that I've ever fought, I believe. I mean, that day he was that's, that's smoking Bert Cooper. Tough dude, dude. 